what is going on everybody it's me snoops back at it again with another video now in this video guys we are going through all four of the primary positions so we're doing like a primary finisher primary shooter primary playmaker and primary defense uh, and rebounding defender whatever you want to call it but we're going to go through all four of the primaries and to make sure that i could show you guys what hall of fame badges to use for each one of the four categories of badges to use as a point guard in Pro-Am. We're gonna go through all five positions in this series of episodes or parts to this one tips and tricks uh, series for 2K20. So literally Pro-Am is literally really, really uh, competitive. So you guys need to make sure you know what badges are gonna be good for what situation and especially what's gonna be good for what you have now I'm practically showing you guys what badges to use uh, one at a time for a Hall of Fame badges in like for one specific like build at a time or just one primary at a time just so you guys can get the understanding of what badges are going to be good and also because a lot of people are running blends and it's very difficult to go through every single blend and be like okay you now this like blend you know you have all these badges this blend have all these badges so on and so forth so literally I'm just going to go through the four primaries. So I just did a build with just primary finishing, one with primary shooting, one with primary playmaking, and one with primary defense. So we're going to start off with the point guards of course, but with finishing, finishing is going to be different for point guards because you don't really see a lot of, uh, of finishing for slasher point guards. But of course one thing that you definitely have to have as a point guard because you know you're going to be facing a ton of bigger guys like on the on the court and especially in the paint so giant slayer is definitely going to be your number one priority and i definitely would recommend fancy footwork so you can try to uh get the uh get the euros and get the uh, hop gathers and all that stuff and try and get yourself open if not then you can still at least get the layup in for giants are to activate and especially fancy footwork hall of fame i think you're going to be able to get yourself open either way it's just that good of a badge let me tell you so now what we have is contact finisher you guys definitely want to have contact finisher because it's definitely going to be the best badge to help you out especially if you got contact against bigs so that's going to be a consistent finisher you can have if you want. If you don't think you're going to have a good released uh, shot. Other than that, just have Pro Touch. Pro Touch is definitely going to be a life changer. So you can have one or the other or just have like both. But just have like consistent finisher or Pro Touch even like these. You know, it's up to you guys. And of course, another one that you guys are definitely going to have to have is definitely... Slithery finisher, you guys can have that on Hall of Fame as well. It's up to you guys. First acrobat's gonna be really, really good to have. And you guys don't really need like any more stuff. You can have teardropper if you guys would want teardropper, but I really wouldn't use teardropper in my opinion. I like I don't. You guys can if you guys so choose so. Like if you really do choose so. Um relentless finisher, you can have that on like gold, maybe silver. Fast break finisher though, I definitely think fast break finisher would be pretty nice to have for your sake. And especially since you are a smaller guy, you're able to get those flashy dunks off a lot more. Um, Showtime might be good as well, having that on like gold you can take down like some of these other badges. And then you can have fast break finisher as well. And you can have like one more for for Lob City Finisher if you so choose so. But you don't really need Lob City Finisher. But a lot of these badges, as you guys can see, are really good. But your three main ones, as you guys can see, your three to four main ones are literally going to be Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Giant Slayer. Those are going to be your three main ones that you are wanting to work on for Hall of Fame. Fancy Footwork. I know what people are thinking why fancy footwork and not like pro touch or consistent finisher or like even slithery finisher or even relentless finisher why not any of those well because fancy footwork is so toxic because if you manage to get a euro off you can actually get more open 
on a layup and stuff if you can manage to get uh hall of fame fancy footwork like i'm just telling you it is really good really 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 all i'm saying is that it, it's just really good guys so definitely recommend it and um i'm just gonna hit confirm we're gonna move on to the next uh primary which is sharpshooting so i will be right back all right guys so we are here with the primary shooter guys so definitely the first thing that you are wanting to do for shooting is you want to lay out you want to lay out all your stuff quick draw is going to be number one of course you want to make sure that you have quick draw set to however you want it i cannot tell you what quick draw to use because i don't know how fast you like your jump shots but I can lay out some of these good badges for you. And I know a lot of people are arguing over Steady Shooter, whether a Steady Shooter is good or not. And I know a lot of people uh, have been saying Ice and Veins is overpowered. But I'm going to leave Ice and Veins for non-shooters. And especially, um, I'm going to be talking more about Ice and Veins when we get towards Shooting Guards and Small Forwards. I'm going to be talking about those badges um, or this badge later on with those uh, positions but anyway so for right now just laying out everything difficult shots when I have that corner specialist and depending on what what you made if you made a if you have made a shot creator definitely recommend gold or Hall of Fame on quick draw Hall of Fame difficult shots Hall of Fame uh, Corner Specialist. Get some of that gold uh, Deadeye. Hall of Fame Range Extender. Definitely recommend gold Hot Zone Hunter. Maybe have some Clutch Shooter in there a little bit. Uh, catch and Shoot you can have if you want to have it. And then of course we have Flexible Release that we can have on Silver. Green Machine on Gold. You can even have that set to Hall of Fame if you guys didn't want to. Have that set to Hall of Fame. I hear it's like really good, but of course I would rather uh, put priority over the other badges first because I don't need to green the shots. I just need to get the shots off and open. So that's my main priority is making sure that I can get some open shots and open looks for me. Whether I green it or not uh, doesn't really matter too much, but you can have that on Hall of Fame if you would so choose. And then also a lot of people say like steady shooter you guys can have steady shooter if you want me personally um i have bad experiences with steady shooter and there of course has been a lot of rumors of steady shooter uh nerfing your open shots uh like your percentages and stuff for open shots so i don't know how i feel about steady shooter right now because i've heard things i've seen things i've literally experienced me missing wide open shots with steady shooter and it's in full bars like they're full bars with flexible release and everything and I, I just don't know how I feel about it so for right now and this is also for pro am you got to think like pro am uh, stuff so having clutch shooter will definitely be phenomenal to have and then also have maybe tireless Maybe just, just have that tireless shooter in there, maybe. Or just have, like, catch and shoot on silver. It, it's just completely up to you guys. But these are the main badges that you want to have, at least. If you don't have a... If you don't have difficult shots. Or if you don't have, like, a... um A shot creator. If you just have, like, a regular spot-up shooter. Definitely take it down to at least silver. And then just put the uh, the Hall of Fame... On dead eye maybe hot zone hunter and you can take like you know badges off a of quick draw and stuff like that and for me is since I pretty much made this build as a uh, sharpshooter I'm just gonna have it on silver because that's just me I like silver even bronze works for my jump shot for Steph Curry because I just know the shot well and it just works for me so you can take that off and then you can have like something else uh, Hall of Fame like green machine like clutch shooter either one uh, that you want to so either way these are pretty much going to be your main priority badges catch and shoot difficult shots dead eye hot zone hunter range extender quick jaw green machine flexible release clutch shooter catch and shoot so literally difficult shots all that stuff uh pretty much just change your badges around 
and just mess around with their badges depending on what you are if you are a shot creator that's pretty much a primary shooter then definitely use a uh, higher difficult shots and then also make sure that the corner specialist is high up there so you can get those corner fades if you have to and also range extender on hall of fame is definitely a must no matter what hot zone hunter is also a must as well because if you get those shots going in uh like if you get a hot spot then literally just go ahead and fade from that hot spot and then you should be able to make almost every time, especially a green machine, especially with flexible release, difficult shots, all that stuff. So that's really good. So that's all the shooting badges. Let's go ahead and move on to playmaking. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So for playmaking, we got to think smart here, ladies and gentlemen. We got to think as a playmaker point guard that is playing Pro-Am. So we don't got to just worry about like anything like slashing or shooting like just scoring we gotta think about setting up the teammates to get them open first things first hall of fame floor general is an absolute must if you're going to be a playmaker in the point guard position especially since you're going to be taking up the ball and you're going to be the one person setting up the plays most of the time so definitely recommend it definitely recommend dimer as well at least on silver or gold make sure you have that downhill set up as well you can also have a little bit of these needle threaders and you don't really need flashy passer have that hall of fame ankle breakers well, i know people love their their uh, ankle breaker tight handles unpluckable then you can also get that quick first step going as well hall of fame get that um handles for days you can change off needle thudder for handles for days hall of fame so you can get all of these hall of fame badges and then these two so literally floor general is going to be good and you can you can have a you know like lob city passer if you want you can just take off like unpluckable tight handles put on lob city passer if you want um you can also have stop and go if you feel like it's going to be necessary i don't think it's going to be necessary you're not going to be posting up break starter you're not really going to grab too many boards in order to do break starter bailout i don't think you're really like everybody talks about bailout and it's like i've heard people being so 50 50 about the badge um me personally i just don't care for the badge like i'm not going to use it because there's going to be no reason for me passing out of animations if i'm in an animation there's a reason for it because I'm open for a shot and I'm not going to pass out of shots. But of course, uh, Space Crater might be good, but I don't know for a uh, primary playmaker. But of course, if you think uh, Space Crater will be pretty nice, um, you know, if you have your shooting badges, difficult shots and stuff like that, you get that, get that space. Then with Space Crater, get the extra space as well. Be able to get those mid-range shots and those fades off easily easily so these are pretty much main badges floor general is an absolute must dimer is an absolute must if you're gonna like put it at least silver or gold i definitely recommend so you can set up your teammates and as well floor general you guys know what it is every one of your teammates get a plus four attribute boost when it's on hall of fame um so then downhill helps with of course your speed in transition so like whenever you have a fast break so there's that so those are pretty much going to be your main ones guys definitely definitely going to be um uh, really good badges you're mainly focusing on those six hall of fame badges you can have seven hall of fame badges if you want just a little suggestion you can have all seven hall of fame badges that you can get but um that's totally up to you guys but anyway we're going to be moving on to the final one of these four primary uh, builds, these primary badges, and that's defense. So let's get right into defense, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we now are here for defense. As a point guard, that's a defender. There's a lot of people that are going to be a little iffish about all these badges. And I know how people think about badges. But me personally, if you're going to be a defender, 
in the uh, in the point guard position or a smaller uh, position, then I I'm just gonna say this now. Don't use defensive leader, and there's a reason why. We're gonna get into those reasonings um later uh, later this weekend when I upload the centers uh, position. So literally when we get to power forward and centers, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about um, big men versus small, like what badges will work more as a big man versus a small, what you should have as a big compared to smalls, stuff like that. But for right now, we're gonna not look at defensive leader because we're gonna be taking a look at defensive leader as a big, and there's a huge reason for that as well. But clamps, Make sure you set that shit on Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Pickpocket. So these are going to be your main badges pretty much. Pretty much going to be uh, your main badges. Uh, lightning reflexes you can have as well. It just depends on how you feel about it. Um, me, I might as well just use like off ball pests on like gold or whatever. Improves the player's ability to bump and harass the offense off the ball. So, you know, you can bump back your guys and stuff like that. Make sure that you harass them. Make sure that your guy doesn't get open. Especially since point guards are mainly going to be playmakers and offensive threats mainly. So, it's going to be really, really hard uh, for them to get themselves open. Be able to get open looks or open lanes uh, to the paint when you're just harassing them like off the ball. So, it's just really, really nice to have. Heart Crusher you can have on at least like silver maybe. And also, Interceptor is going to be good on at least Silver as well. Uh, Trapper, uh, you can have that on like Silver or Gold. Just depends on what you guys feel like. I'm, I'm just going to do this for now. Um, so these are pretty much going to be your main patches as a small, like a point guard. Um, so these are going to be the main priority badges that you want to use. So here's these, and also these badges are pretty much going to be changing um, as we progress up through the ranks of point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. You'll see the differences on, on each one, or maybe you won't for like guards, but then once you start getting into small forwards and power forwards, you'll definitely notice a huge difference when it comes to all of them in the transition from smalls to bigs. But these are pretty much going to be your main priority badges for defense. So definitely recommend using all of these badges that I've shown you guys. Now, what you guys can do is you can mix and match all of these to perfection whenever you are playing on the Pro-Am and stuff like that. So literally, mix and match these depending on what your build looks like and just remember the priority badges that we have set all the priority badges that we have are pretty much the hall of fame badges so try and get as much of the hall of fame priority badges as you can in each of these sections when going into a build and especially if you're going to be playing pro amp definitely recommend almost all of these badges that i've shown you guys family guys Hope that you enjoyed this video of all four sections of badges, primaries, and showing you the badges for them. I literally made four different builds just to show off all 30 badge slots for all four. So, uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon so you know whenever I upload a video. And as always... I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.